Hey, so what is up you guys, my name is Devin and today I'm going to give you my thoughts on the Battlefield Hardline beta. I mean, I've been just waiting to play this so long since I've seen the first beta and finally I got to play it this time around and so much fun has been had in just the short amount of time I've played. And I mean, this game, in a nutshell, is so much fun and I'm just, I, I'm definitely buying it. I mean, I was a little bit kind of, I guess, scared about seeing a... Uh, another failed Battlefield launch because what we saw from Battlefield 4 pretty much put a lot of people on the fence about this game not because of the game itself but because of its previous title and so far I'm not scared anymore about this game this game delivers what it, it has been hyping which is really awesome chaotic and amazing infantry based combat but still has a Battlefield feel to it and still has a lot of teamwork oriented things in it and a lot of awesome new additions have been made to the game like the new currency system for unlocking things as well as changing up some of the class balance to make all the classes feel like they have a purpose and no class is better than another and also just in general making the game feel more complete and it's refreshing to see and also the game modes are so fun hotwire highs and even conquest is is pretty fun this time around at least from the map I've played so far it's a lot of fun to play conquest and that's saying a lot because I usually don't like to play conquest because it turns into getting shot by a tank most of the match so I mean that's a lot and also weapon balance is really good all weapons feel right they don't feel like one is better than the other or one is way overpowered and the gadgets there's not too many useless gadgets all the gadgets have a purpose they all serve what they're supposed to do and I mean they do what they're there to do and they're not any overpowered and redundant things and that's another thing that a lot of people probably will critique the game on is that there's not like a hundred weapons it's like three or four assault rifles and about three or four of each different class of weapon but in essence that's also a good thing at least to me because Battle 4 has a lot but half of them are just feeling like reskins of another weapon and half of them were kind of useless because there is always a better weapon in the game aka any of the ace weapons are better than pretty much everything in the game so they've done a good job with not having too much that it makes it into a redundant selection of weapons and gadgets and I like that as well as also cutting down explosives there's only really the M320 breaching charges and a couple of things like that but there's nothing like too big there's not like a million different explosives, air burst, and all this useless bull crap that Battlefield 4, 4 put in there that just causes a lot of aggravation because it's supposed to be a first person shooter, not explosion simulator 2015. And also destruction has been toned down quite a lot. I mean most walls cannot be destroyed but in essence I do think this is a good move because let's be honest whenever you play maps like Gold Mud Railway and maps of that nature they turn to crap once you start blowing all the buildings down it just becomes to the point where you don't know what you're gonna hide behind and it just ruins a lot of the whole map flow so those are just a lot of great things that just come together I mean there's a, I could talk hours about what's good about this game but those are just a few things I really have to say at this moment I mean there's a lot more to be said whenever the full game comes out and there's so much more to look at but there is a couple of things I may want to critique a little bit. Number one, I think the reflex sight should be put back to being a red dot because they made it like a yellow triangle and that is just the biggest troll sight I've ever seen in my life. It's not really useful or practical for accuracy means because the top of the triangle is your aim point, but it's just kind of hard to line that little point of a triangle up in the heat of battle. I mean, it's just weird and I think it should go back to being a red dot. Also, netcode's a little mad, but Battlefield has not been very good with netcode ever since Frostbite 3 came in. And I don't think there's much more they can really do about that. So there's, there's no point in complaining. Just learn to kind of learn about the netcode and learn what you can and cannot do to get around it, for se. It, it, it takes a lot of getting it used to because there's a lot of shooters out there that are very snappy. And this one is very snappy. I will say that a lot of bullets do register and it not a lot of bullcrap deaths do happen until 
you get into like really close quarters then sometimes you feel like you get cheated but that's gonna happen in any battlefield game no matter how far you go back and also I don't think RPGs should be battle pickup especially on maps like bank job where it's only infantry and you're pretty much using it as a anti-personnel rocket when in, it's supposed to be for taking out vehicles I mean that's just a little bit weird it doesn't really make a lot of sense but those are really only the bad things I have to say there's not really anything that's really bad and something I'm just gonna like face palm and throw things at but I mean there's so much potential for this game and I can't wait to play whenever we have access to all the game modes and all the maps that this game has to offer and I'm also just waiting to see what DLC they can really make for this game because there's so much potential in that department as well but anyways if you like the video be sure to click the like button down below I gladly appreciate that also subscribe if you're new post your comments about what you think about Battlefield Hardline if you're gonna buy it or if you're still a little bit on the fences about the whole thing but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.